Hey there, Ark Hunters. This is Grim Weird, and I thought I would uh, do a second part to my uh, Beta Weekend 3 Defiance tips and uh, guide kind of thing. And uh, I've just created a video in a, of character creation, and now I'm going to show you the tutorial real quick. So one of the first things you do when you appear in the tutorial is you can go to settings and I think one of the key things that people look for is how to get out of the game. So if you hit escape it'll bring up some menu. I'm not even sure what it usually brings up but it'll bring up some menu and if you're at the settings menu in the account tab there is a log out to character creation and also an exit game. Um, if you're not at that, you can see down here in the corner that you can hit the space bar and go to other menus. Some of the menus are turned off during uh, the tutorial, so don't freak if you can't get to some things. But that's how you're going to do it. Push and hold the space bar and find this other stuff. Now that's fine and good for people that use game pads and consoles but us PC users usually prefer to hotkey everything so let me show you where that is real quick settings um, if you go to settings and then controls which is the little mouse icon and go controls remapping on now you can see all your keybinds and you can go to menus and look around here and find out um, where all the different menus are. Again, a lot of these menus are locked during the tutorial, so we're not going to worry about it too much, but I wanted to show you that real quick. Um, settings, log out, exit game to get out. Um, if you need to fiddle with your gamma, you can do it in the video settings. Um, here's where you can find your key mapping. Um, here's where you can change your volumes real quick. I suggest if you're new to the game that you show damage numbers, turn that on. That has the little numbers, damage numbers as floaters above the head of the people you shoot. That really makes it a lot easier to see, one, that you're hitting them, and two, whether or not you're getting crits on them for shooting them in the head or shooting them in a vulnerable spot. So showing damage numbers, if it doesn't start on, I think it's a good thing to turn on at least until you're familiar in the game. So I will probably make another video later where I show more about the UI because again uh, for PC users the UI is pretty uh, non-intuitive but uh, for right now since a lot of the UI menus are turned off in the tutorial let's just go ahead and move forward. So the tutorial basically what it does is it takes you through picking up a bunch of extra gear and then picking your starting ego power which is your power cooldown for hotkey one so let's talk to ego and see what she wants us to do we need to find mr von bach but first we'll need to gear up von bach industries had personal defense technologies aboard the strato carrier i placed a marker on our map where we'll find some as you can see, sort of here, 14 meters away from me, there's a little yellow uh, pentagon there that uh, shows me where to go. Also up on my mini-map in the top right, you can see the yellow uh, pentagon with an asterisk in the middle of it that shows uh, where my quest goals are. So as we run up to it and we put our crosshairs over it, you will see a thing that says hold to interact E, search equipment cache. So if I tap E, it just freaks out and does nothing. But if I push and hold E, a little timer goes off. Excellent. Once you equip that, it will allow me to activate the shield. They put that tap and hold E. Um, holding E can be interrupted by gunfire and explosions. So a lot of the quests have that hold the E to interact with something. So you have to clear the monsters around you before you can pick up your shield or whatever. So now we're going to go to our loadout screen. Um, 
and we're gonna click on shield. And now there's two ways to do this. I can either double click on my screen or I can highlight it and hit equip. The shields are running. We're going to need another weapon option. I'm picking up a signal from a crashed mobile armory. Let's hurry. We need to collect the necessary equipment as soon as possible so we can start looking for Mr. Von Bach. According to my readings, those creatures are actually humans. However, their DNA is severely mutated. So, um, everybody starts out with a pistol, and as I mentioned in my uh, character creation video, um, your origin determines which second weapon you pick up in the tutorial. I picked up a veteran, so now I'm off to 149 meters this direction. There is a box with my second weapon, which is going to be an assault rifle. And so let's go get it. If I hit left shift, I run faster. You can either tap it to run faster, um, but then anytime you stop or shoot or do anything, you have to tap it again, or you can just hold it down and then not worry about it. But most people, I think, probably just tap it when they need to. As opposed to trying to hold W and left shift all the time. So you can see there that I have my damage floaters on. I think that's really handy um, early in the game because it lets you make sure that you're actually shooting things and whether or not you're getting criticals. Uh, Assault rifles excel at medium range combat, but are capable of maintaining much of their effectiveness over long distances too. Particular weapon types work better for specific situations, so you'll want to get used to switching back and forth between the primary and secondary weapons. I'm detecting some explosives nearby. We could definitely use those. I've put the location on the map. The day you die! Alright, so now we're going to run off and get ourselves a grenade. Um, you can kick, uh, click Q to sw switch between assault rifles and pistols. You can hit R to manually reload, otherwise you will just reload when you run out of ammo in your magazine. So it's a good habit to get into to just tap R w after every fight just to make sure you top off your ammo. Pod is filled with grenades. Grab one and equip it. I think you already know how this works. Pull the pin, throw, and get out of there. So one thing to note uh, while I'm thinking about it is that when you're out in the game and there's a weapon drop there, if you tap E, you pick the weapon up. If you hold E, you automatically equip the weapon. So don't hold E if you're picking a weapon up from a drop, a loot drop, unless you really want to equip that weapon. Just tap the E. That's the one case where you probably don't want to be holding E unless you uh, really need to be holding E. Now that we're geared up, it's time to train you on the ego powers. First, we'll try Cloak. While using Cloak, you are completely invisible to enemies. Use the power to sneak up behind the projections and attack. The projection shields are too powerful. Use the overcharged power to break them. Now we'll test the overcharged power. 
While using overcharge, your damage inflicted on the enemy is significantly increased. Shoot the projection while overcharge is activated. the decoy power now. Decoy allows us to create a projection in your likeness that will fool and distract the enemy. Take down the projections while they're distracted by your decoy. The blur power is now enabled. Blur will allow us to move at extreme speeds and increases melee strength during close combat. With blur active, rush the projections and strike them with melee attacks. You'll need to choose an ego power for me to integrate. These boxes are ammo caches. Um, those are important out in the world, so make sure you top off your ammo in between battles whenever you run past a, an ammo cache. So um, now we have to choose our ego power. So just a word about this. This is probably the closest thing you have to a starting class in this game. There's still no classes. You can eventually get everything you want in here. Um, but the way it works is that you pick one of these four powers and you have one of these powers equipped as your number one hotkey. And then to get to the other ones you actually need to work your way across by buying the, the uh, perks in between. These big four are your active powers that you will have one of at any time. These little ones are um, passive powers, passive perks, that as you go up in ego rating, as you go up in level essentially, you will be able to equip more and more of these at one time. Um, so just a bit about them. Decoy sends out a little, a little holograph of you and all the uh, NPCs attack that. Drop em. It's really good in... Ah! It's really good in um, PvE as sort of a tanking thing. A lot of the uh, perks around Decoy are defensive. They allow you to take more damage. Cloak is sneaky, and uh, a lot of people favor it for PvP. It's also handy in PvE because uh, the NPCs can't see you. A lot of the perks around it do extra damage when you are cloaked or kneeling or sniping or that kind of stuff. Overcharge does more damage, and uh, that one can be a bit of a challenge in... Um, in PvE, mostly just because uh, I find I don't have enough defense quite often when I'm using Overcharge. Um, but it's a great one sometimes. So what I'll be doing at launch is I'll probably take DK Decoy first, but then as I unlock these perks, I will work my way over to Overcharge so that later in the game, if there is a situation where Overcharge would be handy to have, like a boss fight or something, um, then I can switch to overcharge. Same thing with uh, cloak. I will most likely start with decoy, but then as the game progresses, I will unlock my way down to cloak because there are some cases where cloak is more fun than, than decoy for me. And then blur is probably the last one I'll pick up. So let's go ahead and unlock decoy before something shoots me. You must like to me. confuse and disrupt your enemies. I'm receiving a signal. I'll patch it through. Can anyone hear me? I need help down here. It looks like the mutants are getting organized for an attack. Oh no, we better help her. So now we're almost to the end of the tutorial. We're gonna run down here and uh, blow up this camp. Again, I've got my little uh, yellow pentagon showing me my range. Let's check out that reactor. I'm sure we'll be able to use it to our advantage. 
We need to shut these dudes down. Protected. If we don't, Protected. you can forget about finding any survivors. You can see there, there's a little exclamation point with a timer uh, going on. And we need to protect the thorium from all these the guys. I have most computer Coming systems. Back! Go to that thorium reactor, and I'll see what I can do. Push them back! Excellent. I was able to reactivate the fissile materials. The reactor will overload and blow this entire base off the map. But we'll need to keep the mutants from disrupting the process. What did you do to that thing? It looks like it's going to explode! Let's check out that reactor. I'm sure we'll be able to use it to our advantage. Let's check out that reactor. I'm sure we'll be able to use it to our advantage. Okay, so the tutorial is now over. Um, I think the key things to note about the tutorial is it's the first chance you get to uh, change your keybind mappings. So just a reminder there, um, you can go to wherever your settings are hotkeyed. Um, settings account tab is log out and exit the game. Going to settings controls and turning on controls mapping and then going to the menus tab allows you to change where things are um, mapped like though like that and uh, another good thing to do is play with your gamma if you need to um, and uh, I like to personally turn on damage numbers so that I can easily see if I'm hitting and if I'm successfully getting crits. And those are some of the highlights. And I think I'll stop this video here. And uh, I might have another one or two videos showing more about the uh, UI and more about the gameplay. And I hope this helped. Again, this is Grimweird and this is the PC for def the PC version of Defiance in Beta Weekend 3. So if things are different at launch or different a year from now, um, what can I say? I'm shooting this in beta, so deal with it. Anyway, I hope this helped and uh, later on.